Hi there, today we are going to spend 1 minute and 30 seconds to better understand how to hide people in France. To begin with, you need to understand your hierarchy of regulation. The principle is as follows. First, you get the labor code, which is the background of the regulation. Then comes the sector-wide bargaining agreement, signed between employees, trade unions and employees, trade unions. Finally, you have the company-wide bargaining agreement. Please note that the agreement remains optional most of the time. Now apply to employees. The labor code is less favorable than the sector-wide bargaining agreement, which is itself less favorable than the company-wide bargaining agreement. But as for employees, resulting to the sector-wide bargaining agreement saves cost most of the time. Now apply to work contracts. Reference to the labor code is needed if no SBA applies. But most of the time, reference to the SBA will be needed. Now, how to secure the work contract? A written agreement before starting to work is needed to secure the relation between the employer and the employee. No written agreement means no securization. And in this case, the sector-wide bargaining agreement and or the labor code will apply to the employer in its least favorable terms. Now the type of work contracts. First, you have the unfixed term contracts, which stands for 80% of work contracts in France. Second, you get the fixed term contract whose duration is never over 80 months, renewal included. Finally, you get project contracts, only if allowed by SBAs, but mostly used in the IT sectors. Now the trial period for the unfixed term contract. If a blue collar worker, the issue period is two months, could be extended to four months. As for clerks, it's also two months, could be extended to four months as well. Then for four men, three months, could be extended to, three, to six months, renewal included. Finally, for executives, four months, could be extended to eight months, renewal included. Now the trial period, how to stop it? It's absolutely possible to terminate the trial period, which is called in French, rupture anticipée. Per labor code, if the duration of employment is lower than eight days, the notice for both employer and employee is 24 hours. If the duration of employment is between eight days and one month, the notice for the employer and for the employee is lifted to 48 hours. If the duration of employment is comprised between one month and three months, the notice for the employer is lifted to two weeks, but remains 48 hours for the employee. If the duration of employment is over three months, the notice for the employee is lifted to one month, but remains 48 hours for the employee. And no motive is needed to terminate the trial period. Want to know more on how to hire people in front? Don't hesitate to reach out to us. Looking forward to reading you soon. Bye then.